Andreas Walter. I'm happy to be here today and uh, I take the opportunity I've been given to give a short introduction to my work. Um, basically, I'm uh, working on atmosphere. The question is how to bring atmosphere into the artwork. And uh, during the last uh, years, I've been finding uh, different ways of uh, doing that, actually. Uh, starting with uh, starting with the diptychs. Um, the diptychs um, are one way actually to, uh, to to overcome the limitation of photography uh, in terms of uh, limitation of time and space. We're reducing space to a perspective and time to a point of time. So atmosphere is really something that extends in time. So with a second perspective and a second moment. I can overcome these uh, limitations. Now, uh, then we can have a look at this work. Um, here, I'm really. This is more like a like a poetic approach, I would say. Uh, I'm trusting very much on uh, not in, not to um, uh, integrate too much thought in the work, while the diptychs are still there's a lot of uh, thought inside. So uh, this is a single work. Now, um, if we look at the Black Series, Black Series is, uh, it's, I've, I've been starting with trying to capture a nocturnal yeah. atmosphere, and photography, as we so all know, is bound to light. So that's the problem. Um, yeah. I'm used to not using a tripod, I'm, not to I'm used to not uh, 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 put too much focus on the camera's uh, parameters. Because when I do so, I'm getting away from the atmosphere. I'm, my, my focus uh, would be shifting, and I like to not have this happening. So, uh, um, well, digital post-processing helps me a lot uh, in uh, in uh, getting to what I want to achieve. And uh, here, I'm using the digital uh, technology or di digital tools actually to bring much more contrast into the work than I got it from a nocturnal shot without a tripod. So another uh, way to solve it. Now finally, uh, we have these uh, murals, as I call them. You can go on the As I already said, um, atmosphere is something that expands in time, so we also talk about dynamic. And now how to bring dynamic into photography, a medium that doesn't have time in the first place. So this is an attempt actually. Um, as we all know, sometimes when we take photographs, we are missing our eyes missing some, some details which are given, but we don't just don't see them. Photography takes all the details. So imagine I have some spot here that is a very has a very strong appearance. It would block all the neighborhood. And by arranging the details, I'm also working on the the, the dynamic of uh, of the original atmosphere. Now, finally, uh, these are these hand scrolls. They are uh, like um, a trip into the Chinese art history. Uh, these uh, hand scrolls are usually uh, executed with uh, ink painting, a uh, very dynamic medium. And uh, bringing the murals in in this uh, format is a uh, really uh, something that I'm really happy I could uh, I found a way. Now, uh, we are in, uh, in Berlin here at the uh, Berlin edition of Photo Basel. And uh, after looking around, I found this a very high quality of uh, artworks that are presented here, comparing it to other photo art fairs. Often, in other cases, I feel photography is not really taken it's not really covering all its possibilities. We only see a small uh, part of it. And uh, I think what I've seen here, I've seen here on uh, all the different booths, we can see the possibilities of photography in a very wide scope, actually. So I'm really happy to be part of this with my work.